Hey guys, Miss Little Kid here, and we're back for the second episode of the Ultimate Tag Let's Play, I think that's what I called it. And, um, on the last episode, it was just the, the the starting of the Ultimate Team, so pretty much just um, the, the creation of it and the first couple of games, which included uh, two losses to start it, and then end up getting a few new players, like Lakazin, I think that's what his name was, uh, something like that. And um, it's a few other Netherlands players or Dutch players, and um, we've got a we've got a pretty pretty average side, not even below average I'd say. But um, come against a very good side here. Uh, some pretty pacey players. You see Kyle Walker, probably the paciest of them all. Uh, he had five at the back, so that's why Kyle Walker was so far up the field because uh, he was playing wing back, which um allows him to go up the field a bit more. But uh, a great one too by uh, Lakazen. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I'm probably butchering it, but that's just what it looks like. Um, and he scores again in similar fashion with the 1-2 pass. And um, So we, we finish the half at 2-1 um, as it is 40th minute goal there. Once again, going for the 1-2 pass again. A bad pass there by the player. He did well to um, tackle it initially. We saw a rule out around the player we're going for that sweaty finish, I'm sorry. I'm sorry people. But uh Pori scores a goal. Uh he'd scored quite a few goals in the in the games that we played in the last episode. They go they go very close there initially, hitting the post, it falls to Gerard, and uh, I was thinking I am in a world of trouble right here. Three two, momentum's a huge factor. But um I was obviously wrong as uh, we go on the attack. Um, he, he doing some pretty bad tackles. He uh, went flying in with a side tackle and missed. And uh, Luckerson put Pori through, who uh, did a little... It was a slow finish, but um, it kind of worked as the goalkeeper jumped over the ball, really. But back in the 80th minute, we're right, at 4-2. Uh, great ball through for Sturridge. And uh, he chips the keeper. I'm kind of disappointed. That was the new keeper, by the way. That wasn't the, the bad keeper that we had to start off with. Um, quite disappointed as... I was supposed to be like a pump fake thing where you like call him out and go back in, but um, he didn't make it back in time. But we did end up winning 4-3. We go to 6 points, and um, Division 5 is starting to turn around. Now that sounds sounds embarrassing to say. We actually lost in Division 5, but uh, what, uh, what, whatever. Now we're going in and we're looking for small players to utilise the, the 1000 coins or so that we had. So we go in and we pick up a right wing and a left wing, both for 200 coins, both in formation. Um, you may be thinking, why would you get a left wing and a right wing? Uh, the reason being is that uh, left wing and right wings, they can still get annoying chemistry as long as they have um, the right amount of links and I believe that they will get annoying chem in this side. As long as everybody else is in formation and in their right position. We put in a bid on Grot there. Uh, he was 200 coins, 150, 200 coins, I believe. I don't know, I said 150. Sorry, I binned him, I didn't put a bid in. So uh, we pick up those two players, and uh, Grot is actually a pretty decent player. You'll see in the upcoming episodes um, this of him. I believe paid 300 coins for the centre back, and uh, we just needed him to fill out the last position in the centre back, as I believe we already had two different centre backs. Yes we did, as you can see that's the team there. Um, we have the Samaratus playing, I think that's his name, uh, playing striker. Uh, the Greek, the Greek player. Uh, he's out of position so they're not going to get maximum chemistry. But we're getting closer and closer to that 9-9 chemistry. As you see here, mainly a Man United side with the uh, exceptions of Walcott and um, Kyle Walker. So we've got the two speeders in there. It just wouldn't be wouldn't be right to not have the speedsters. But uh, Lakazan gets put through in the first three minutes. And uh, I believe we get a rage quit. Well, could, it quite possibly could have been a rage quit. But uh, ten minutes in, it was uh, there was still like six minutes or seven minutes game time um, since I scored. So um, I'm not sure if it was a rage quit or not. As you can see, I was just checking to see if... Um, I had like lagged out of Xbox, so I was thinking, um, because initially I was thinking that I might have lost connection, but no, it wasn't me. We jumped to nine points, 
that's a guaranteed promotion and now we'll be looking to gain the division title just to get that extra bit of coins um, because it's the only real reason you need to win the title in Division 5 we jump into our next game, we're halfway through the episode we're versing Hembiger which is a uh, very very ironic you see the side, it's not the greatest, it does have Oxlade Chamberlain, uh, Pastorates and a few of them so he did have some names uh, that were pretty good we see Grot getting a head to the ball um, actually got a head to the ball twice uh, the post denied him first, second time a keeper he actually got the first header there um, I think it hit the hit the post or got saved or something and, uh, and they ended up finishing it though but 1-1, one, one, there was a nice little finish by Nolan I think it was but a great bit of vision there sees Russia Vial scoring um, I'm not sure I think he might have been the right wing uh, but I can't I'm not exactly sure because I'm not too familiar with um, these players but we see the Ox getting a red card, that was a very poor challenge um, in the first episode we saw my player get a red card for um, a pretty bad, it wasn't a bad tackle that's what I'm saying um, and he still got a red card but that was a terrible challenge but we see Grot just monitoring his way through the defence uh, they actually went in for a slight tackle, he just sidestepped them no tricks, just pretty much a sidestep and uh, powered at home so he played very well, so we get an achievement, um, it was for silverware, I had notifications off before, so um, there was two achievements, oh actually there wasn't, didn't have notifications off, we get it then promoted, so we got our first silverware and we got our first promotion, so um, we're going pretty well, we just hammered, we hammered ya, and that was pun intended. We go on and we go and purchase another CDM just to pretty much uh, complete the squad. We're just looking for those uh, last couple of players for the for pretty much for chemistry reasons. Uh, we're looking for through 200 and I end up noticing this player. And, uh, he turns out to be a pretty good uh, uh, pretty good player. Um, me thinking you already have two CDMs. I think I think I already had one other CDM. If not, just made a fool of myself. But um, we end up going in getting uh, Van Wolf Wolf Swinkle, something like that. Wolf Swinkle. Uh, he's got a team of the week this week, and uh, two two hundred fifty, no three three hundred fifty coins uh, would be an absolute bargain for him. We also get Luke De Jong. Uh, to be honest, um, De Jong I actually got on my other account, on my main account. I had him, and he was incredible. Uh, if you put in a cross for him, it's going to a goal. That's sweaty talk right there, but um, it's the truth. He's very, very good. We also put in a bid for Tim Cruel, the Newcastle goalkeeper, at 400 coins, and uh, I think I think he'd be a great pickup. We do end up picking up all of those plays. We just um, we just binned Douglas for 700 coin, I believe, and he is a class centre back. Um, he didn't really have any stats that stood out, in, like really, like there wasn't anything that made you say, wow, I need to have him, but uh, he was just an overall good card. And that's a team that we're running with for the next for the next game. We come up against Bloom FC, I think it was. And uh, he has like a Spanish, a Spanish BBVA side, well actually it was pretty much a BBVA side with Torres up front. And Torres is a... Uh, He's a very good striker, but Van Wolfswinkel was played through and he passed it across to Lacazen and that was, that was a sweaty goal but just a little bit extra to do than a sweaty. Here we go, doing a cross sweaty goal, uh, Van Wolfswinkel, he is uh, pretty good in the air to be honest. We have a nice cross there and a fine Samak who's their right winger. He beats one player, takes a shot, it's saved, it falls to the feet of Lacazen who uh, volleys at home. But we have a very, very nice header from the corner by PK, which uh, makes it 3-1. But once again, we're on the attack. We're looking for that fourth goal. Just the great vision. Uh, that toot my own horn. I do find lots of balls like that. Always looking for the extra man, the overlap. I'm actually thinking it's from playing football manager. Uh, I don't know why, but after playing football manager all the time, I'm looking for the, the open player. Which really you should, you should be doing that all the time. But a lot of people try and skill it, or they try and do too much with it, and they won't pass it. But um, 
That's how a lot of my goals happen. We get very fortunate there. Shot was deflected initially, but it falls back to Grot, who um, beats the keeper very calmly. A lot of people um, would have panicked there, but Grot slots at home. Van Wolfswinkel scores another. Um, foolishly by me, um, I got a little bit cocky. A, a little bit, a lot. Very, very cocky. I was up 7 1, decided to try and run out with Keeper, and uh, he made a very good challenge and ended up scoring. Quite annoying. Wanted to keep it uh, the goals at a minimum rate, but uh, Van Wilsinkel has got a 3, and I'm butchering his name. But uh, he's got it in form, go out and pick him up. Definitely a great player. I might have to pick him up in future episodes. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, and if you want to see more of it, um, subscribe to my channel for more. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.